when I met you, yeah, you just had that spirit. Like, it's crazy. Like, you meet certain people, you know, and they just have that energy. You know what I mean? Like, I just, there's some people, it's crazy in life. Like, when you're living in this space that what I've been doing, you just have energy where it's like you're cool or you feel safe. You don't feel bad vibes. And so mm -hmm. I noticed that you were very, you're very open. And sometimes what's interesting though, like I could, and I was like, I, I think this must be a problem for any, uh, for MJ because, because she's very open. Let's say you meet someone like me, a guy might think because you're so open, maybe you're interested in him or he's like, you're interested in, in that person. You know what I mean? So I was yeah. like, I know maybe people have confused that, but that's just her energy. That's just who she is. You know what I mean? But I know some men, they might think that you're flirting with them or anything. So like, I was like, I wonder if she gets into that where maybe she meets some people and just because of her personality, her spirit, her, yeah. you know, her vibe, that people can misunderstand that. So I did notice that about you. You do have that, that up going upbeat spirit. Yes, that's true. I have, and I have those issues as well. I think it does one in the last years. In the recent in the recent years I've been more quiet. And then not socialize that much. I don't know, it just I become more quiet, like more like I don't know, I feel like I've been maybe it's like I've been waking in too much and been seeing so many things or been realizing or just I'm so disappointed with people. I think that's the reason. I think I'm still hard to connect with people oh wow it, yeah wow that's a very good uh, yeah because yeah it's, it hasn't been easy like even though i have like good intentions to be and show up and always you see me on instagram like doing the positive and this but people is very like i don't know it's like people sometimes it's like very low like so for for example like yeah, has that happened? Like, let's say, like for example, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say now we're, I'm hanging out with you, we're doing these videos, and then like someone like hits on you, for example, or try like, have you felt that type of like, in people don't have the right intentions at times? Yeah. More people take advantage of it. Yeah, I feel like um now I'm um, being I grow up. I like to say that I grow up. I'm more mature, and for me now, you have to promise your trust because I know my worth. Uh, knowing my value as a person, I don't let anyone to get in. Until you prove me you really want to be in because there is no point, you know? And obviously now I turn it in the character more like bitchy sometimes. People think I'm cold, I like a rock and then I don't have feelings. I'd rather to give that perception instead of like giving all and uh, open my heart and get her. Because I've I try and I've done it. I'm a nice person. You can come to me on the street or at the gym to say hi. I will say you hi, how are you, whatever. Mm -hmm. I will be super polite, super open. It hasn't changed who I am. But now I'm more careful with the people who let in. Because people have hurt you. Yeah. With too much. Too much. And I don't deserve that. Both sides, like girls, like you. Girls, guys, people, friends, uh, exes. Um, and even like now, like I just recently, I went to Europe to to visit my friend. And I was very surprised to be honest, like meeting people casually, which I, I didn't plan to see. And then to receive that amazing energy back. To say that, oh my God, I miss it just so much. It's so nice to see you again. And then they hug me and give me all that love. And I feel like on my soul, it was full. And it was amazing experience in that way. Like realizing like, yeah, I am the good person. You know, I am not the bad person. I am not. I have never had bad intention behind to do anything against someone or even like go over someone to get what I want, never. I always want to do anything who is in my hands to be better. And I don't have any issue to say, sorry, I fuck it up. Ooh, I don't know. Sorry, I apologize. I think yeah, that's a good thing you have to do. You know, you, ha you have to be humble. We don't know everything. We didn't born knowing everything. So how are we going to expect that? You know, just be nice, be kind, be a good person. But be careful. Because people is very, they like to take advantage. 
and people don't want to see you grow. They don't want to see you be better. They don't want to see you like you are successful. They don't want to see you that. And to be honest, for me, it's very, very difficult to give that walnut. Hey, I have fantastic news for you. The Rabasha Family Podcast is proud to announce that we have partnered with World Bremen. Now, as a diaspora family, African Australian, we have our loved ones back home. We want to feel connected with our people, whether we're sending money back home to create our family legacy, building generational wealth, or we're connecting with our loved ones, birthday parties, whatever the situation is, we always want efficient and effective ways for us to be able to send money directly, straight away for the people that we love or the projects that we're funding. So we have some fantastic news for you. For the link in the description, it's gonna sign you up with World Remit and not only that, even better news guys, watch this. Once you send over $100, you will have $15 put into your World Remit account immediately. So make sure when you click the link in the description, it's gonna take you to sign up with World Remit. But not only that, it's gonna ask you to use a referral code. You punch in that referral code and that will give you $15 as soon as you send over 100. Now back to the video. But I feel like I have to. Mm. I'm very sensitive, like, I really am very sensitive. Like, I, I think I, I, I learned it to be, to hide it. But I'm very, very sensitive. But you've learned to hide it because you've been hurt. Mm -hmm. You've been hurt many times. Yeah. And you know, it's interesting. I wanted to, on two points you just said, but like when you said you met a friend and it was very casually, you hadn't maybe known him long. You go and you, in Europe, you have so much fun and it's just like this other energy. So it's like even with family, for example, just because they're your family, just because they're related by blood, it doesn't mean that they have your best interests at heart or not necessarily that is friends, family, whoever is on that same frequency as me or whoever is that supportive, that same spirit, that same energy, yeah. your family. You know what I mean? You could have blood, but that doesn't mean anything. Do we share the same morals, principles? So sometimes when you're with that type of person and you can meet that person anywhere, you just have a connection and that's- Yeah. Like now, like, yeah, I was in Europe two weeks, I spent with my bestie and I know him like for five years. Five minutes. Are we, or six maybe, yeah. We, we didn't see each other for three years. The, or the whole time I was in Australia. And when we met again, it was like, we spent such a good time like together and it's that connection like you don't need to tell someone something it's like you just read the same frequency it's the energy matching perfectly but i have to be honest to say like yeah it's been almost five years which i haven't been to chile and it's very hard for me like do you think if you like you going back to chile you know, because like, you know, you have your family who live in Chile, even friends or whatever the case may be. And then now when you, when you come from Australia, you're like the, the big shot, you know, you, you're the, you're the money, you know what I mean? That happened to me in Europe. Like people thought I was like rich, chap, because I was saying, oh yeah, I live in Australia. Oh yeah, cool. I have never had that feeling before. Like, like people change when I say, oh, where are you from? I'm from Chile, cool. And then my friend behind me, Papa, she lives in Australia. Ah, oh, you live in Australia? And the people change like immediately, like something like, like you are like the best, like the famous artist. I don't know, like, it makes me feel like, oh shit, <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, you know, you know, you know what's funny? Because like me as well, I traveled. I, I'm similar to you. I left home when I was 17. So when I'm overseas, right? Um, people will meet me and then they hear me talk mm -hmm. and then they say where are you from you know because they see a black guy yeah. talking with this accent and then i say oh i'm originally from kenya but then i say but i lived in australia then they say australia like yeah. and then and then for them to see a black person from australia that's a whole like <laughs> the, you know that's what that's like there's black people in australia yeah. out there. Yeah. you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying so like it's so funny also from you when you hear when the people hear that australia does it, you know. it really literally and even like i started charging me more and he was like you said you started what charging me more like overcharge me oh really could you come from us now because they heard that but chile because i was talking in, in, in english i was speaking english whatever and obviously they can get to the accent but but not that much until they start overcharge me like plenty of time not lying like no one time it's like every every time i go out he was like oh and then i turn around 
I'm speaking Spanish. It's like, do you speak Spanish? I'm from Chile. Like, why are you charging me this when it's not like that? Oh, mate, sorry. Uh, well, um, yeah, yeah, no worry. Don't worry. I'll fix you out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was like, what the fuck? Crazy, huh? This is crazy. No, that's. The world is very in. So, can you imagine now in this situation how I. I just put myself. I don't want to sound like negative, but I know myself. My personality is that going to Chile for me is challenging. It's a very, it's like face that reality, which obviously I left because I didn't want it to be there. But at the same time, just see how much I be like progress in my life. It's amazing. It's amazing. Wow. It's very challenging. Mm. And I know in the in my subconscious mind I've been putting excuses so So you haven't gone back.